Okay, hey guys, welcome back to part two. Um, we just went through the door and we are making our way down these stairs because in order to get this stuff done, we need whatever is behind this door, I believe. Mm -hmm. Now I have to beat them within a certain time, otherwise they just reform. There we go. That's always the room I fear because, you know, when you first start out you don't know that you have a certain amount of time that you need to beat them. And you're just like... Oh, okay, I beat the first one. And then it comes back, and you're like, what? For me, it's more just like, wait for it. I wonder what we could be getting. The hero's bow. The fairy bow, actually. It's not the hero's bow yet. Ooh. All right, so let's put this on that and that on that. Actually, let's go ahead and save. I usually like to save as much as possible. And then we need to leave this room. I think this was the way, right? Yeah. We need to... Also, as usual, if my thing seems to be lagging, it's because I've got my other video being set up while I do this. So, you know, unfortunately it takes a lot of power for it to, you know, do its thing. So, uh, don't mind that. Please don't hate me! They're just so silly. You got an arrow. All right. He wants to be difficult. Actually, no, they're sisters. There are no brothers. They're all the sisters, so. Come on. That was actually pretty funny. Nowhere left to run, douchebag. I'll be able to get the um the big Goron sword not too long after this. So like I said in a couple episodes ago, I'm just gonna do that off camera. I mean it's just one of those things that takes so long.
I don't want to waste everyone's time. Because like I said, it has nothing to do with the story, so I'm just going to do it off camera. And Next time you guys see me, it'll be with the Goron Sword after that. Obviously, I don't think I'll be getting it after this, ep um, this episode. I might have to do the Fire Temple first. I'm not... I really don't remember. But, um, yeah. It'll be soon enough. Soon enough. Yes, I know, Navi. And that's a blocked door, yes. So now we've got to go all the way back. But now we have a new weapon. So the room with the twisted corridor, we actually have to hit the switch and kind of make it correct. And then we will basically unlock a new path for ourselves. Isn't that fun and exciting? I know it sounds fun and exciting, doesn't it? Imagine if you had to do this shit in real life. If I was stuck in this place and I had to do all this, I'd just sit in the corner and wait to die. It's like, I'm not doing any of this. This is annoying. Because we wouldn't have this cool song to listen to. It'd just be a silent house. here we'll also be able to get the uh, the boss key as soon as we're done with this as soon as we flip the room flip that room mm -hmm. there we go a new path opens Side. Just die! His nuts are spreading everywhere! You're gonna love my nuts. All right, so we're going this way. There we go. Alright, so now we gotta go back up here. <clears throat> Down there, because we gotta go all the way back up. I know there's an eye up there that we can shoot, but I think it just gives you um, arrows, I believe. So we're not going to waste our time with that poop. With our poop! Then we gotta shoot the eye, turn it back to the way it was um, for the, the corridor, so that way we can get to the other room. Yeah. Like I said, it's a lot of backtracking. 
and that's one design type thing I don't like is when you have to backtrack a lot you know it should be just kind of a straightforward thing but um you know it's their first 3d Zelda so I'm like kind of cut them slack Yeah, see, it's just something with the freaking controller. Bye now. And now we just make our way back to where we were before. Well, it's not a hard dungeon temple, really. Poop. There's no hearts. Oh well. Just a little bit about over here. room <laughs> now here that's super you can either do two things you can either try to shoot the damn thing with your arrow or you can just do this because it's it's one of those puzzles that you would have like in Majora's Mask where you have to shoot it through the fire in order to get it but it's really just a pain in the ass because the N64 controller is not the best to aim with so let's do that Let me know what it is. Oh, I'm sick. I'm not really sick. Yes, I know. Shut up. Try to just get the damn thing. I think I'm safe. There we go. Yeah. Shall we get. See, if there's heart. Yes. Yes. Mm. 
Well, we're still probably gonna do it, but it doesn't matter. It's just it takes forever to push these damn blocks. No, Link, push the damn thing. Dumbass. So annoying. <laughs> I believe this is actually the last room we need to do before we can fight the boss. So, I mean, actually, no, we've still got one more Poe to get. But that is to come up soon. And I believe we're about to do it in just a few moments, actually. Die. Just turn them into nothing. Mm hmm. All right, this one, this part's really easy. You just hit the one that spins around. I believe it was that one. Yeah. So watch. When you see them come out, you'll see one spin around, and that's just the one you hit. Real simple. <laughs> it just takes forever to do. There we go. See if I can remember how to do this properly. You gotta get in there. Yep. Oh, come on. Push the damn thing, Link. Ooh. Oh, there's one. I think there's a sculpture in there here, is it? Nope. I thought there was one in this room. Must have been one of the others. Anyways, here we are. With about 10 minutes left, honestly. So, hopefully we can do this. Oh, gee, I wonder... Let's leave. Ooh, we're not leaving.
<laughs> oh god, he is so creepy. Evil spirit from beyond, Phantom Ganon. This was actually a fight that they implemented in the, um, I believe they said alpha or beta, because they just wanted a really cool type thing where, you know, he's popping out of things and poop. I just need to stay in one place. <laughs> really hard sometimes getting a lock on this guy. <laughs> I love how he gets hit, he's like, oh god, I'm going back in. Alright, where's he coming from? I believe you have to hit him three times and then he'll finally come out and you have to duel. It's time to do 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 Well that totally missed. I didn't even know where he was coming out of. Alright. <clears throat> well this should be the last time I hit him. Just gotta Okay. <laughs> I wonder where he's coming from. The thing gets in my way. Let me move up a little more. Can I get it? Okay. It's good now. The thing was just getting in my way. Wow, I have not done this in a while. I am really bad. Really? Link, really? You're killing me, Smalls. Please, just let him be the one in front of me. Nork. He does not want to go down. Doesn't help having all this shit flying in your way. DIE! You prick! Woo, well, that was actually pretty intense. I felt my stomach tightening up a little bit and all that. But, um... Yeah. Kid, you did quite well. Looks like you may be getting some slight skill. But you have defeated only my phantom. When you fight the real me, it won't be so easy. What a worthless creation the ghost was. I will banish it between, into the gap between dimensions. I mean, so there's the sacred realm, there's Hyrule, which, you know, obviously you're in, but then there's the gap between dimensions. So, I mean, what's that consider as? I know I forgot the heart piece, but it's whatever. I don't care. <laughs> you just go back and get it. So if any of you guys know what the gap between dimensions is, is that the sacred realm? You know, by all means, let me know. I would love to know. I'm always, you know, I love learning Zelda stuff. 
I am Saria, the sage of the forest temple. <laughs> she doesn't talk like that, but that'd be funny if she did. Because I know you. And this is where he gets crushed for the first time. He's like, well, I guess I'm not tapping that no more. That's pretty sad for Link. Every girl he con comes in contact with who he can possibly smash ends up here. Him, uh, Saria, Rudo, Naburu, uh, Zelda ends up, you know, being a sage as well. So it's like, dude, I'm trying to smash. Link smash. It's ineffective. <laughs> Sorry will always be your friend. Oh god, dude. Friend zone. And that's where he crushes his own heart. Ooh, what do we have here? No, oh, but jeepers! <laughs> He's like, hello, friend. Hi there, I'm the Deku Tree Sprout. Because of you and Sorry are both across to the forest temple, I can grow and flourish. Well, that's what I imagine he would sound like. Have you seen your old friend? Now that I'm recognizing you with your grown up body, did they? I mean, like, he's. It's a sprout, so I seriously doubt he's come to, you know, speak properly. So, I mean, that's what I imagine he sounds like. He sounds like a little baby. You are not actually Kokiri. You are from Hyrule. Some time ago, before the king of Hyrule unified this country, there was a fierce war in our world. He certainly loves to talk. Now finally the day of destiny has come. You are Hylian and you are always bound to leave the forest. And now you have gone of your destiny. Break the courses of all the temples and return peace to Hyrule. <laughs> okay, and with that fun stuff, I am done with this episode. So, hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, I certainly enjoyed doing his voice, that's funny. Um, don't forget to comment, subscribe, like, rate, leave me a picture, leave a meme, I don't care, just something. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.